Hello and welcome to another algorithm. So today we are going to talk about Stooge Sword. Stooge Sword is a weird algorithm where you constantly swap the last and the first element if they should be swapped. Let's dive in. So we are going to watch our whole list for this sorting algorithm and we are going to compare the two places outside. So we compare this and Sonic is younger than Mario, so Sonic should be staying and Mario should be stay staying. So these are now sorted according to each other, only the outside characters. So we have to do the others and we do this by getting a part of our list and then do the same function. So we have our part of our list and then we do exactly the same function on this list. So we watch and at the um, characters outside and Steve is younger than Sonic, so we swap them. So, but this list has still three objects, so we uh, still have to compare everything else. So we go uh, even deeper in our recursion and we do the same function on the first two. Uh, Steve and Zelda are in the right place, so this list is sorted, so we take Sonic with it and then we do the same function on the last two, so we do Steve away and then we have to compare those two and Sonic is younger than Zelda, so uh, than Link, so we should swap them and then we have this sorted, so we can take Steve with it and then according to the um, function According to Stooge sort function, we have to compare again the first one. So we remove Zelda, we compare them, they are right according to each other. So we take uh, the Zelda, look uh, we take Zelda in account and we have now sorted these. So now we can take Mario in it and now we have to again go to the last one because we did the first so we go to the last and we compare them and Sonic is obviously younger than Mario because Mario is the oldest one of them all so we don't have to swap them and then we do the we check the first two they are according to each other right and then they check the last two and they are also right and then again the first two so now this is sorted, we get Steve with it and then no, now we did for the whole list, we did the first, the last, so we should do the first, but since my list is sorted, I am going to stop, but normally the function, it will not stop with this, it would normally do again the function for the first one and then it's sorted, but now it's already sorted, so I'm not going to do it. Let's get into coding now. So we are going to code Stooge Sword. Um, so I made this little um, function, Stooge Sword, and I made this function that gives us um, 10 numbers, 10 random numbers, and we can sort them. So let's start. So the first thing we want to do is to compare the first variable to the last variable. So we are going to do if and we are gonna need multiple ifs. Let's just put them here and we are going to need a lot of math. Like it's bigger than a few times and we are gonna need the minus the plus also this I think that's it what we need so we go in we are going to uh, first compare the item of numbers with the last, the first item of numbers with the last item of numbers, which is begin, end. And if the first item of numbers is bigger than the last one, we want to swap them so they can, so they are switched and they are on the right place according to each other. 
So how do we swap them? Well, we are going to set the variable of this item to my variable to that. Then we set replace like begin item with the end item and then we do the same but then the end item with the variable variable so that's the swap then we are going to do recursion so we are going to use stooge sort in stooge sort so let's see we are going to um, first check if our array, the, the, the part we are looking for, if it's big enough. How do we check that? Well, we do the beginning. Oh, we are going to duplicate this. We are going to do the beginning. No, no, the, the end minus the beginning. If this is bigger than zero, uh, than one, then we have we still have multiple things in our list, so then we can still sort. Then we put our number, so I made a variable called number. We put we make this one, we make this like one third of the length of our list. So that means we need the length of numbers. Oh, so the length of numbers minus, oh, that's not good, um, but where, what did I say? So we need this length and we do this plus one. This is annoying, plus one. This is to make uh, it more sure and to make it more solid, this plus one. And then we actually do this like dividing by three. And we floor this, so we round it down. Like this. And this will be our number. Why do we need this number? Well, we need this number to divide our list into three parts. Um, we are going to, we are going to, um, we are going to sort this list three times. Now in, in Scratch, we, if we um, call a function, it starts, but if we later call the same function, it also starts immediately. So it's not going to wait until the function is done. So we are going to wait a little while until the previous function is done. Otherwise, it will not get right. So we wait a while and what are we going to sort? Well, we are going to sort first from the beginning to the end minus the number, so where is our number? Here. The end minus the number, and then we are going to sort the end. The beginning plus the number, so the last part, until the end. So this is two times. So this is two times uh, like two thirds, so that works, two thirds, two thirds. Um, but we need this to do the first one once more. So end by the number and the beginning. This should work. So if we click on the flag, we see like the function is running because it stands in yellow and we see like the the number swap 
like very slowly and we will see that it gets sorted maybe 10 is too much because we are overloading let's do this you saw it? was super fast let's do it with 8 you see it happening Oh no. Oh yes. Now it's sorted. But it's still busy. You see, this is not a very efficient algorithm. Um, I will say why this is not an efficient algorithm. Well, we are going to make a variable. And we are going to call it amount. Because this... This is the amount of times that the function get called. So if we see like with three, three um, numbers, we see the amount is four. But four is more than the numbers even. But if we do it with five, we see the amount immediately goes up to 40 40 times this function so it's 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 a lot and if we go to 8 we are waiting like yeah a long time you see it's already over 100 that's it's not a, a very efficient algorithm but it is an algorithm and i wanted to explain it to you guys because um this algorithm is one of the sorting algorithms and we want to explain every sorting algorithm. Let's keep this running. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below. If you want to see more of this or I make also videos with a lot of drawings and uh, stuff, then you can um, subscribe maybe. Then you see when I post videos and look, it's 553, which is insane. It's, it's not a very efficient algorithm, but it is an algorithm. And yeah, that was it. See you next time. Um, so yeah, um, it was a long time ago when I made a video. I'm very sorry for it. Uh, this is also a quite easy video because I really wanted to get a video out there. Um, I haven't been working on my YouTube channel because I've uh, run behind on my studies. So I'm keeping that in check and um, I'm almost at the level I should be with my studies. So after that I, I get into uh, more videos making. Um, I'm also working on trying to do some uh, a col a collaboration. So... Uh, with some YouTubers, I send them a mail and stuff. Uh, yes, I'm keeping. Uh, I'm also um, busy with that, but I disregarded my channel because my studies. Uh, I don't have to tell you more. I think that that's clear. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.